Aries. Welcome to your new moon in Scorpio reading. <laughs> first reading so my energy be on so but nah nah today I'm ready for you I'm ready when I'm starting to do that <laughs> for the reading I'm ready I'm ready can you feel that energy? I know you can I'm ready <laughs> oh shit alright are you ready? alright give me some cards give me some cards you ain't getting all that. Give me some cards. Give me some cards, Annie. Give me some cards. Mm. Mm. Is you a little emotional right now, huh? Take what we get, right? We take what we get. So, you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Ten of Wands. Past position. Really? <laughs> Present position. Future position. Right. So, normally, this in an upright position would be telling you to follow your heart towards the passions, whatever is exciting toward, um, to you. But remember to use logic. However, that's not what's going on. <laughs> um, you're kind of stuck and You're not really wanting to be bothered with anything. You're lacking drive in general. This Queen of Cups in reverse, again, this speaks to passion, following your heart, taking help, giving help, and being open to life. But you're not, you're closed off, you're shut down. <clears throat> you're not giving or receiving help from people or life in general. Aries, what the fuck is going on? What, what's going on, bro? Hold on. And in a future position, you have the Ten of Wands. Again, what's going on? And you got this card in this future position because the Ten of Wands is about carrying other people's burdens. But why the fuck are you doing this? Why? Maybe it's because you feel you're strong enough to do it. I, I don't know. But that's not it instead try to focus on your own issues your own tasks whatever needs to be taken care of immediately in your life keyword your life not other people's lives your life get your shit together 
and then maybe you can consider helping other people maybe that'll bring you out of this funk Aries this is like yeah I don't know Queen of the Moon Oracle what advice what guidance do we have for Aries that was quick purity Purity. Look for the simplest and cleanest solution. Understand your motives for doing what you're doing. Be as clear as possible in your communication. Aries, your affirmation is, I know why I do what I do. The word purity now seems to have a kind of loaded moral quality. Anytime I mention the word, people mostly think about how it's used in religious religions or in morals. For example, the purity of virgins, the purity of no sex before marriage, the purity of celibacy, the purity of bloodline of certain extreme right wing groups. No wonder what we use no wonder we use the word with some trepidation. The purity I refer to here is the purity of the silver moon on the unmarked snow. The simple purity of intention that nature demonstrates. The purity of clean water in a mountain stream, the purity of one single purpose. The Cambridge Dictionary defines this kind of purity as being clean or free of harmful substances. And I guess in our world, so full of pollution and damage to the environment, that may well be hard to find. However, the ancients looked at the cycles that brought ice and snow as sort of a reset button, a time when everything lay fallow for a while and brought with it a kind of simplicity. These times were hard, but if we were prepared for them, we could survive. There are good reasons to strive for a kind of positive purity in our lives. Being precise with our language and as clear as we can be in our communication means fewer miscommunications and misunderstandings in our relationships and work life. Keeping our intentions pure and untainted with lower energies such as jealousy, revenge, or unworthiness as much as possible means that our motivations are pure and not muddy in their reasoning. Aries. Along with the message of purity, be honest with yourself. Take time to figure out what's actually what actually pertains to you release what put other put other people shit down if it doesn't directly affect you it's not your concern you can't do things for other people if you can't do shit for yourself and right now you're not doing shit for yourself you're in a funk you're in a funk and it happens one way to come out of it Focus on you. Be honest with yourself. And then you'll see a change. This has been your reading. It is what it is, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Aries, yeah. I don't know. Get off my table. Bye for now.